Happy Monday! Hey guys, um, hope you are all well. I know it's the middle of winter, so um, there's loads of buggies and jummies going around. So um, I just want to do this video for you guys just to share with you what we do in our family just to um, keep ourselves uh, away from the bugs <laughs> and um, prevent sickness in our family. Um, of course, it is a lot harder when you do have kids at school um, and in daycare. And of course, where you're working with a lot of people around you as well. Um, because not everyone can take sick leave or take annual leave um, to stay at home and repair themselves. But um, to be honest, it is for us, it's all about prevention anyway. Um, so what you can do, I'll just go through the things that we don't do and then the things that we actually, what we um, implement in our lives to help prevent sickness. Um, so the first things of course are um, the kids don't have any processed sugar. Um, Te Atarangi we're a little bit more lenient on because she does actually, I've seen her bring home lollies from the shop. Um, so once they get the taste of it as well, it is very, very hard for them to come off it. Um, but we are 100% avoiding it with the twins. Um, there's plenty of time for them to experiment with sugar when they're older. Um, so in their whole life, they've had sugar twice and it was both at birthday parties. So I think I'm just going to try and avoid birthday parties. <laughs> well, they, it was their birthday party and one was uh, their sister's. So um, sugar is a huge one. It is a real, it's a big inflammatory for the gut. Um, the thing with health and well-being is 95% um, of um, great health comes from gr having great gut bacteria. So... To get yourselves better, you have to eliminate what is causing um, the problems first. So if I was to say to you, hey, just go and drink bone broth, um, you'll be fine. That would be a whole lot of shit. Because what bone broth does, it's actually a repairer. So you can't repair something if you keep on putting something in your gut. Um, dairy does that as well. Um, and there is a protein in dairy that does cause it a lot, which is called BCM7. Um, so we do not give the kids processed sugar, um, dairy, the only dairy that they have is butter and that's like on the bread, um, that I make them and the other thing is wheat. Um, wheat is a huge, um, inflammatory for the gut as well and, um, the thing, the thing is with kids, when they're born, their stomachs are actually still open. Um, so what I have been doing uh, while they were inside me as well as when they first got out as I would give them bone broth because bone broth would help heal the gut faster um, than anything else. So um, the brand that I purchase as you'll know um, is Meadow Marrow. I used to work for them in Australia but not only because I work for them, is because their product is amazing. Um, there are uh, there are a lot of um, broths out there that you can choose from, but or, or sorry, you can make it. Um, it is easy enough to make, but it is very time consuming as well. Um, Pete Evans has a really good recipe that um, just Google it. Anything's Googleable now. So, um, Meadow Mero. Um, Med sorry, Meadow and Marrow. Um, you can find it online. What I usually purchase is the culinary um, pack, which has got a natural, natural flavor. Um, it's got a lemon and herb flavor. And it also has the curry flavor. Um, so I use these. I drink them as well. As, uh, sorry, our whole family drinks them as well as I use it for cooking as well. So with the kids one, I always give them the natural. The other ones are a little bit too strong um, in flavor. So the natural one, every morning I put in their porridge. Um, all it is, is, is just tastes salty. Like it makes the porridge salty. So you'd usually put in salt anyway in porridge when you're cooking it. So I just opt for half a teaspoon of the bone broth instead. Uh, and 
sometimes uh, if they if they do get a bit fluey, which uh, they've been to the doctors twice, I think, and that was they caught a bug, um, a diarrhea bug from. We were at a gymnastics, one of the gymnastics places, and of course there's other little kids around. So, um, but sometimes they do drink it through the day as well. It's it's, it's not that nice to drink, but they, they don't know any better. So <laughs> the younger you can do this with kids, the better. Um, so the other thing as well is um, we, eliminating wheat is can be really, really hard because there is a lot of stuff um that the kids, you know, especially if you've got older kids, that they're used to having. So they're used to having the pasta. Um, you've got to be careful here as well because there are a lot of products that still have wheat in it um, that are gluten-free. So when you think you're, you know, you're buying gluten-free and you're buying really well, buying good, buying healthy, it's not always um, that way. So there is a bread. I make my bread, which the kids have, um, but Te Asarangi and Royal have been really fussy lately so they have I'll just show you this is the wrong flavor but it's the right brand um it's Bakeworks actually and I think Bakeworks they make the the keto I've tried the keto bread and it is really good it's got hardly any other it's got real simple ingredients sorry I should have just researched that and told you now it is pretty pricey but you shouldn't be eating like low uh, you know you should only have two pieces of bread a day anyway so um, this bread here has got, like, it's egg-free, it's dairy-free, and, of course, soy-free. So, if you have a look at all the, there's a lot of gluten-free breads, but a lot of them still have the soy. Try and avoid the soy as much as possible. Um, I think people are now become you know, realizing now how, um, soy can affect you, especially hormones, um, testosterone levels in guys as well. So it does make me laugh a little bit when I hear a guy asking for a soy latte. But, you know, you do have to educate yourself. Anyway, so that would be the bread Royal and Bubby Yu, Te Atarangi uses. And then um, with the baby's milk... Sorry, the babies eat my bread. I think I have put the recipe up a few times, so um, I will repost it later on. Um, they are still on formula. The Plunkett said they shouldn't really be needing it, but I give it to them <clears throat> before they go to bed for their daytime nap and um, their nighttime nap as well. So we use a goat's formula, goat's milk. So goat's milk is um, like A2 milk. Um, there is A2 formula as well that you can buy. This is expensive, but it is worth it. Um, we used to go through two tins a week, so that was around $90. But for me, paying for the kids' health now is nothing for when they get older. Like, the whole point in me... Like my goal for my kids is to educate them in nutrition, to be able to be self-sufficient and to look after themselves and not have to rely on the system um, when they get sick. Um, so, it, I mean, the kids aren't old enough now, but if we take the steps now um, to teach them, especially Te Atarangi, like she still has a little bit of sugar but she knows the consequences as well and she comes to me and she of course she's like oh I'm not ever eating that again I'm not ever so like she knows what the sugar and and especially dairy as well like we don't have the only thing we have in the house is butter um but when she goes out she will like to have a milkshake and those are the choices that she makes now she's old enough she knows the consequences um so goat's milk. A lot of people think they are lactose intolerant when it could just be the protein in milk, which is the BCM7 that a lot of people um, have a reaction towards. So um, we can go into that later on. I don't really want to get into it now, but um, eliminating dairy, well, the BCM7 is a huge one. The sugar, taking that out of their diet and the wheat. Um, so what I, what I, sorry, excuse me, what I also give the kids as well is fish oils. Um, 
I usually go with the Go, oh shit, what is it? Go Healthy brand. It's a New Zealand brand. Um, but they didn't have any, so I always, uh, Health Ease is really good because it doesn't have soy in it either. Be careful when you have a look. Um, do read the back because there are um, products, especially like fish oils, you wouldn't think, but they do actually have um, soy in them. So just be careful when you are buying products. Don't be fooled. Only the fool gets fooled. Um, now, I've all just started using these with the kids as well. It's a probiotic. It's a Healthery's brand again. Um, I'm just really experimenting with these. I don't know if they will do anything because <clears throat> I'm already helping their immune with the bone broth. Um, with the fish oils. Um, sorry, with the fish oils as well, I put it in their porridge. So... I just poke a hole and squeeze all the oil out um, and then just mix it in. It tastes a little bit, but not too much. It is the odorless as well. So, um, yeah, so I'm just experimenting with these. These are a probiotic, prebiotic. Um, uh, this is for um, three years plus, so I just split it in half. I don't know if that actually is what you're supposed to do, but um, probably not. Anyway, there's been no harm uh, yet. <laughs> but yeah, those, so those are my main thing. My main thing is broth. Get on the broth, even if you make it. Like, um, there's really good recipes out there. Um, it really is about eliminating um, what's causing your gut, bad gut health in the first place. Sorry, one other thing I forgot to add in. <laughs> um, what I do do as well is I diffuse oils in the kids' room at night time. So I was using the doTERRA brand, which is a really popular brand, amazing oils, but um, I have changed to a local brand, which is called Kereru. Um, so far, so good. I can't really say um, how good they are just yet. Um, I am using their rose hip oil on my skin at the moment, and it is amazing, super thick, like really, really nice. I'm not sure if they do actually um, international sales, but um, uh, they are online. You can go and check out all their oils, their diffuser. I think they sell a diffuser as well. But you can buy a diffuser from the warehouse. It does the same thing. Um, so what I was um, having in the kids' room is Easy Year from doTERRA. Um, it was lavender, uh, but this one's lavender piece. And On Guard. So with the Kereru oils, there is the Thebes, Thebes oil, which is um, similar to the On Guard, but it has loads more oils in it. And the Easy Year is called Breathe in Kereru. Um, and they are all natural oils as well. Um, and yeah, so far they have been really amazing. The thing with the Kereru is they are very, very reasonably priced, so anyone can afford them. I know doTERRA is very, very expensive, but they are good oils, so not complaining about that at all. Um, so I'm just trying them out at the moment. Another thing I do with the kids is every day, like I forget about these things because they are just the norm to us. So every day I take them out on the grass and with their shoes off, even if it's like icy cold, they do not give a shit. They don't care. They love being outside. Um, and I put them on the grass to get their earthing done. Um, earthing is amazing for our bodies. And yes, I earth as well. Um, just to release um, all the radiation, all the with all the technology that's going on in our house and around at the moment is good to um, especially for the kids like get them out and um, get their little little toes in the grass anyway that is all for now this is going on sorry going on a bit long but um, I hope this video helps and um, if you want to start implementing um, any of these things uh, it is all about prevention so start now um, it's not going to happen overnight but you just keep on doing it um, it's about consistency as well so um, good luck and just let me know any comments down below um, I'll be happy to answer any questions you have as well thank you so much for tuning in and we will catch you later ciao